Hello and welcome to Daily Driven everybody. Today we're going to be checking out this 2003 Chevy Impala. It's got a 3.4 liter V6 engine, a 4 speed automatic transmission, and 180 horsepower, 205 torques, and you can regularly find them for about $1,500 on Craigslist. Up front, it's got some beautiful new headlights. Uh, it's got a pretty aggressive looking front grille. Looks pretty nice in my opinion. All right, move it along back. You got your chromed out hubcaps. They look pretty cool. This is a four door sedan. We'll talk about more on the inside in a minute. You got these really cool tail lights. They almost look Ferrari-esque. It's pretty cool. You got these really cool Impala logos that I really like. Uh, they look interesting. All right, guys, let's check out the engine. All right, guys, so here's under the hood. You got your 3.4 liter Chevy V6 engine, uh, fuel injected. Uh, it's a really nice engine overall. It's uh, really smooth. Um, I've had one of these in my one of my cars before. Uh, it's not, it doesn't really cause too many problems or anything. It's a pretty good engine overall. Uh, it's got a timing chain rather than a belt, so that's always good. One cause for some concern, though, is the four-speed automatic transmission that it's connected to. I've seen a lot of these fail over the years. They're not very good units. But yeah, other than that, if you find one with low miles, like this one has around 170,000, you should be set for a pretty good while, and I worry about it too much all right guys that's pretty much it up here uh we're gonna go and move on the in interior now one thing i do want to mention though before uh i move into the interior is everything's pretty easy to get at in here you got your air filter right here it's pretty easy to get at your battery pretty easy alternators incredibly easy right up here no problems getting to it and your starter is right down there super easy to get at so yeah general maintenance is not going to be a problem with this car uh it's pretty, pretty nice, and uh, yeah. Okay, let's check out the inside. We're on the inside of the car now. We're gonna check out all the features and everything in here. Uh, here is the gauge cluster. Looks pretty nice, no tachometer, but then again, it is a family sedan, so there's no real need for it. And like I said, all models came with an automatic transmission. You couldn't get a manual in this model, so yeah, no real need for a tachometer. All right, over here, you got some nice wood grain finish. You got your controls for your windows. You got your mirror controls up here, uh, power locks here. You got a little vent over here, some more wood grain, and then your headlights. All right, moving over here, it is a column shifter, so that's pretty neat. Down here, you got your stock radio, it's got a CD and a tape deck. Uh, you have down here, pretty cool for the time, uh, you have your driver and passenger side AC and heat. So if you wanted the driver's side to be hot and the passenger cold, you leave it there or vice versa, or you can put them both together, and then both sides will blow cold or hot. So yeah, that's very pretty neat right there. And this radio also had a cool feature that uh, my van actually had too. It's right here, it's called auto volume. And what that does is you press it, and then as you go along, the uh, as you speed up, wind noise and stuff gets louder in the cabin. So the radio compensates for that by turning itself up slightly, and then whenever you slow down, it'll turn itself back down. So that's pretty pretty cool feature. Uh, rather than being over here on the steering column, your ignition switch is here, uh, right in the middle of the dash, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, it's got a pretty cool dash design overall. I really like it in here. It's uh, pretty comfy. Uh, the lack of a center console, uh, I really like. There's one here in the seat that looks pretty cool. It's got two cup holders. It's got a change holder. Uh, yeah, not bad. All right, guys, I guess now it's time to take it for a drive. We're inside the car now, and as you can probably hear, it's raining pretty hard. But yeah, we're about to take it for a drive. It should be pretty cool. One thing I forgot to mention before when we were checking out the interior was this traction control button. It's uh, it's just a manual switch you press on and off, and it disables the traction control, which is pretty interesting for a car of this era. Usually you don't see that around, around cars from the two, early 2000s. But yeah, so let's start them and get going. Okay. Wipers on. All right, guys, let's go. Okay. It is a very smooth riding car, this one. Um, it, it handles a lot like, uh, well, what you would, might imagine a front-wheel drive Crown Victoria. It kind of just feels pretty floaty and comfortable. It's uh, just an early 2000s American sedan, so you'd expect that from it, but it's pretty good. Overall brake performance is um, pretty much average. It does have ABS, um, so that's good. One thing I have noticed about this engine and the one in my van is that the temperature seems to fluctuate quite a lot, a lot more than what you see in a standard vehicle. Um, sometimes it'll be as low as 160 and as high as 210, and it just it doesn't seem to affect performance any, but it just it fluctuates quite a lot. We're riding on some back roads now, and as you can probably see from the camera, it's pretty pretty floaty and, and nice in here. It's very comfortable. Overall, just a really nice car to drive. 
interesting thing about this throttle is it seems to be pretty, it's not very sensitive when you first get on it, but it, it's more whenever you actually go more deep into the pedals when it actually starts to uh, pick up a lot more. But the first one or two centimeters of travel don't really do all that much of anything. It barely goes over any, barely goes over idle. All right, guys, we're going to do a zero to 60 test now. We're going to be a little bit careful because it's in the rain. So it's probably not a really accurate number, but at least you'll get an idea. All right, here we go. Twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, and sixty. Uh, safety information's on screen now. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's a great, it's definitely a great car, just a good daily driver. All right, guys, the rain's picked up a lot, so I doubt you can hear me very well, but I just want to say I would recommend this car, and uh, it's a good car overall. Uh, like I said, the transmissions are an issue in these cars, but you can find with, with low enough miles, it's not really an issue for a while. Um, but overall, really a great car to drive, a great car to own, um, good engine, um, pretty good track record with these Impalas. Uh, yeah, overall great car. All right, uh, please comment, subscribe. Um, like, dislike, uh, and yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.